Let us look at this question where we are going to use a Venn diagram. A survey in a school has 100 students has shown that 41 students have an older sibling, 69 have a younger sibling and 25 have both. Find the probability that a student chosen at random has a sibling or no sibling. Now this is the rectangle is called the universal set or the sample space. So let us call that U okay or you can call that s okay so this is the sample space so and you've got two sets one is a set of students who have older sibling and a set of students who have younger sibling so let us call the set of students with older sibling as o so this is the set of older sibling so let me change color let me make it a neutral color so this is the older sibling and this is y for younger sibling. Now this area, this area is the area which is common for O, that is the older sibling and the younger sibling. So first when we are writing numbers inside this Venn diagram, uh, we should write whatever is inside this area. So here I read this that 25 have both that means 25 students have younger and older sibling. So I'll write 25 here in this area. So 25 is the common for the older and younger sibling. So let's read the question again. 41 have older siblings. So this area is for the older sibling. So the total area of this is 41. So you uh, this this has already occupied 25 so I have to do 41 take away 25 which is 16 so 16 these this shows the two or you can say 16 there are 16 students who have only older siblings okay these are the 16 students who have only the older siblings okay so we have uh, and 69 have younger siblings so this total area the yellow circle comprises should uh, should have 69 so you have already included 25 so i should go 69 minus 25 which is 44 so i should write 44 here again what does this 44 means this for the students who have only younger siblings they don't have older siblings they have only younger siblings so this 25 is for students who have older and younger siblings so what will come in the rectangle so let's add these three numbers so 16 plus 25 plus 44 so this is 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 4 is 15 remainder 1 Two, four, eight. So there are 85 students who have older or younger siblings. Okay, so, we, so but the question is you've got 100 students in the school. The survey had 100 students. So where would you write the remaining students? I'll write 15 here. So these 15 students are the students who do not have siblings. So let's answer the question now. What's the question? What's the probability that it's a, find the probability that a student chosen at random has a sibling so this is this is the area of a student or these are the students who have sibling so here they're asking you what is p of o union y which is uh, of course you have to add these numbers but to talk about this uh, rule P of O union Y, that means this total area, is P of O plus P of Y minus P of O intersection Y. So this area is called O intersection Y. So this area is O intersection Y. So this is equal to, so probability of O is uh, you don't need to do all the steps, but just to explain this rule, uh, I'm doing this. So this is probability of O is 41 out of 100. 
41 out of 100 plus probability of y that is a student having young, younger sibling is 69 out of 100. So what when you're doing 41 over 100 plus 69 over 100 you're adding this twice so and so that you take away this area once that is 25 over 100 which is 41 uh, 41 plus 69 so let me do 41 plus 69 is 1 this is 100 so it's 110 okay minus 25 which is this is 5 so this is 85 out of 100 okay all this is nothing but 0 0.85 now this is this I did only to show you this uh, this rule but if you don't want to do this rule, it's basically what you're doing is you add these three numbers. So yeah, let me delete this. This is 100, 25 over 100. Or we can do the same thing in a different way directly. So this is 2016 plus 25 plus 44. This is 11 plus 4 is 15, 4, 6, 7, 8. So directly without applying this rule, this is 85 out of 100, So which is 0 0.85. So the probability of a student to have a sibling, that is either an older sibling or a younger sibling, is 85% or 0 0.85. And what is the probability that a student chosen at random has no sibling? So no, these are the 15 students who have no sibling. So for B, the answer would be 15 out of 100. This is 15% or as a decimal, this is 0 